Hello, welcome back to the retreat. Y'all, I have to just say that my producer is the illest, okay? We're back again for another episode. I told you that we were gonna start getting into relationships a little bit more. And I thought that I was gonna talk about, you know, friendships and transition and, and transitions and things like that and people growing apart and coming back together and seasons and all that good stuff, right? All of that nice, gentle, <laughs> mild um, language. However, I just figured I'd, you know, my creative director said, let's bounce some ideas off. He's like, you wanna do mild or you wanna do juicy? And I was like, juicy. I immediately had regrets <laughs> when I asked. Uh, but the topic that he gave, uh, that he submitted that I should speak about today is forgiving cheating. <sighs> Lord, okay, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. Let me first start off by saying, let me, let me get the scripture and what the Bible says out the way. The Bible says that cheating gives you an out for marriage. Let me just go, let me just go through that right now. The Bible says if somebody cheat on you, you can leave. That is like the only, I think it's the only, the only out that you have when both spouses are alive, right? Because really it's till death do us part. Now, when we talk about forgiving cheating, first of all, now let's take it a step further. Let's talk about why it's easier for women to forgive cheating men than it is for men to forgive cheating women. Because a man can take a woman through hell in high water and have an expectation of her to stick around. And yet, if a man finds that his girl was just talking to another man, the whole world ends. Don't, let's not talk about physically cheating, emotionally cheating. It's like a man can't handle what he puts a woman through. And yet we see it happen all the time. Like, it, who, he, he said we was gonna get juicy and um, he wasn't playing. This is very sensitive to me because I can admit like any other woman, I have been cheated on. Have I ever cheated? No. Have I ever come close to cheating? Yes. But I've never, I've never physically cheated with anybody. Um, and the only reason why I haven't, because I was with somebody who cheated on me and I felt like I forgave too quickly. And the audacity that he had to carry on as if nothing happened, as if I wasn't hurting every day, like put me in a position where I was like, oh, I got to get him back instead of just leaving. And I, like I said, I almost did. Um, but at the end of the day, I have a conscience and I have morale. So... Um, it didn't happen, but I did forgive and I have forgiven many relationships. Many of the men I've been in relationships with, um, for cheating. Um, I can't say that I have the same tolerance today because I'm young, you know, like I'm, I'm getting older now and I'm really, uh, evolving. Like I said, in many of the videos before, I feel more woman-esque in the last year than I ever have. I think the baby weight has finally come off and, you know, responsibilities have changed. And now, you know, I have a new lens on life. So I feel more, I've always felt feminine. I've always been a lady. I've, that's never been the issue. But I think now just my physical appearance is changing. Yes, I did go like this. <laughs> I got curves now. <laughs> but I think that, um, you know, with the wisdom that life has given me, um, the revelation that God has given me with the experiences and many other things, I think that um, there are certain things that I tolerated in the past that I can't say, and cheating is one of them, actually. I can forgive you for cheating, but I'm not staying with somebody who cheated on me. Can't do it. And I, I look at it um, this way. I look at it as if there was something that you needed outside of me, you should have it. But you don't get to have me and that. I'm worth more than that because if I have to look outside of you for something, then you're not the one. That's my mentality. That's how I think. Like I said, I've, I've grown and evolved into this because I had a very large tolerance and I think probably the reason why I forgave. And I can honestly say, I don't even know if it's a matter of me forgiving or if it's a matter of me wanting what I thought was stability. 
It's like, do I want to go through another heartbreak? Do I want to be single again? I can look past you stepping out on me as long as that means that you still want to be with me, but you're not going to cheat on me and break up with me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's real foolish, very immature thinking. However, that was my life for, you know, my early teens and, I mean, my late teens and my 20, all through my 20s. Um, but today, I just kind of, I don't, I don't see it the same way. It's like, and I don't care. I don't care how long we've been invested. I, I, I don't care. Um, I have very low tolerance. I have very low patience. Um, and all because of what I know I offer. And here's the thing, too. I relate cheating to the notion that you don't want me. So no matter how you feel when you did it, it's always going to translate in my mind that you don't want me. And I don't want anybody who doesn't want me. So the moment you step out, the moment you cheat, I'm, I'm booking it. Like, no, it's a wrap. And I don't care how many different ways a man will say, well, men are not built to be monogamous. And, you know, there's three women to every one man. And I don't care about none of that, OK? I am all the women, any, the man that I'm going to be with is supposed to need. And if that is not enough, then Bye. And here's the thing, right? So I'm speaking this from a very, like, secular um, avenue. I'm really talking about within a marriage, really, because the way I look at dating is not the way the world looks at dating. The way I look at relationships is not the way that the world looks at relationships. So when we're talking about this idea of stepping out, I mean stepping out of a marriage. I don't let me be clear on that. Um, and the reason why I want to make that clear is because I don't believe in sex before marriage. And cheating is one of those reasons why, one of those reasons why because I'm a firm believer that you're single until you're married. Yeah, we might be in a relationship, we might be committed to one another, but I can't claim you on my taxes and you can't claim me. We're single. No one in the world, no, uh, no government establishment, no governmental department is going to look at people who are in, unless it's common law, but I'm not living with nobody I'm not married to either. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. The world has their way of doing things. I'm just speaking from my perspective. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't believe in sticking it out for the kids. This is just me. I, I know many people who have done it, and I honor them for that. Um, and I'm not in that position either, so this is kind of hard to, like, in all authentic authenticity, I think that this is a conversation, it's very, um, what's the word I'm looking for when, like, you're, like, given, uh, um, I told you he caught me off guard with this, <laughs> with this topic, but I feel like I'm speaking from a, a place of, from the outside looking in, not having my own experience, because, like I said, I only believe in um, I believe in marriage and I believe in intimacy within the marriage. So when you talk about stepping out, like if I call myself dating somebody and he's sleeping with somebody else, that's his business. I don't like it, but who I am and who he is may be two different things. And, and honestly, if he's doing that, I probably ain't got no business with him anyway. But when it comes to within the marriage, I'm speaking from the outside looking in because I've never been married and I don't have a husband. But the person that's on the outside looking in is saying when... Should the time ever come where I have to make a decision because my husband decided to step out on me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I'm out. I can forgive you, yes. We're not enemies. You hurt me. We're not enemies. I forgive you. I release you from my, you know, from all bitterness that I may have. But stay? <laughs> now you're asking a lot. <laughs> you're asking a whole lot. And like I said, before we, as women, have become wives, we were just our individual self. I lasted but before you came into my life. I'm certainly going to be okay after. Listen, I have some people that I know that are just designed to be with someone else. They are created to be someone's help me. I feel like I can function <laughs> either or, to be honest. So when we start talking about, you know, staying after someone cheats, that's kind of like, mm, not really for me. 
not really for me. I, I'm, I'm going to lose respect. Um, even and and re lose respect more than I lose trust. And when you don't respect somebody, it's hard being in their presence. It's hard being in their presence. But you know, there are different reasons why people do the things that they do. Again, I'm from the outside looking in, but let's just say the person that I, the single person that I am today, talking about what she is and ain't gonna do, that could change. That can very much change. You know, find the right one who has a hiccup, and I'm like, but do I want to let this go? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I doubt it, but it could happen. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I've, I, I know a lot of couples who have survived um, cheating. Lots of couples who survived it. Um, and I know a lot of couples who, uh, to no repair, um, who, who buried years of commitment because of cheating. So I don't know what end of the coin I'll be on should that ever happen. Hopefully and prayerfully it never happens. Hopefully um, I don't have to experience that, but I know that it is, it's common, you know. Um, I guess we cross that bridge when we get there. But what do y'all think? Is it, is it something like, what are the, what is the recipe to stick it out after someone cheats. I think it's very different for men and women. So I think that this is, oh, like I said, men can't have, yo, a man, be, a man be ready to burn the house down when his his wife cheat. Women be like, oh, but that's still my man. I don't know. Listen, y'all gotta, y'all gotta fill me in. Cause I, I'm very, um, I talk a lot, <laughs> but I really don't know. I don't know. I would hope that I wouldn't have to I would hope that I, I would really hope and pray. And I, when I say pray, I mean every day of my marriage, I would have to give that to God because I don't know what I would do in that situation. And I definitely have no intentions on cheating. I just, mm, morally, I, I, I don't like to do things that are immoral. Uh, I, I, I do my best to steer very clear of immorality. So yeah. I mean, to each his own, but I would definitely love to hear your comments to see how y'all think and, you know, what's on your mind when it comes to forgiving cheating. And what does forgiveness mean? What does that mean? Tell me. Send me a message. Put it in the comments. What does that mean to forgive? Does it mean to let it go? Does it mean to break up and let it go? Does it mean to function as if it did. I don't know. What does it mean to you all? And and then tell me if you've ever had those experiences. I would love to read it and we'll dialogue in the comments and we'll do a recap. Oh, I would love to do a recap <laughs> of, of what that means to you all and some of your experiences. I would love to hear about it. So I'm going to leave y'all on that note. Um, yeah, I'm not asking Mike anymore <laughs> to help with a topic. That made me all warm and jittery inside. Like, whew, I don't know. <laughs> But we did it. We made it through this, this segment. So hit up the comments. Let me know what y'all think, all right? And we'll be back very soon with some more content. Peace.